So here it is, the comprehensive test, breakdown, review, whatever you want to call it, of the enhanced speech tool in Premiere Pro. So I decided to go to a few different locations to test how good it is at recovering poorly recorded audio. And I also decided to test it with a podcast because there are differences in how the enhanced speech works based on the format of audio recorded. So let's just get right into it. All right, so revving the engine now, and this is what it sounds like. I don't think there's much of a difference, is there? There's a lot of sounds going on right now. All right, so revving the engine now, and this is what it sounds like. I don't think there's much of a difference, is there? It's a lot of sounds going on right now. God, I love AI. It's kind of scary though. So it's not often that you're going to be sitting on a car that's revving its engine, but I wanted to test the enhanced speech to the extreme. So honestly, not bad. It sounds a little robotic-y. And as we go through this, you'll see if this continues on the other clips or not. But first example, not bad. Revving the engine now, and this is what it sounds like. Revving the engine now, and this is what it sounds like. So this was the audio from the camera that was further away from me. And as you can tell, it did not pick up really anything I said. It made me sound stupid. So this is the first important takeaway, and I've used the enhanced speech on some other clips to figure this out. If your audio is at about the same level of dB as your background noise, then the enhanced speech really struggles to make your voice sound better. This is because the enhanced speech works by recreating a different version of your voice with AI. So if it's hearing a bunch of noise in the background on the same level as your voice, then it's going to struggle. And let's see another example of that where it just really does not pick it up until the end of the clip. So yeah, you can only really hear it at the end. And this is because this is when the generator shut off. So now I know those were some pretty extreme examples. So I also wanted to test it in more of a daily application, let's say a daily vlog. So once again, I wanted to push it to the limits. So I actually did this while I was on a skateboard, but let's see how it sounds. If you want to vlog and you're on a skateboard, then this is how it sounds. If you want to vlog and you're on a skateboard, and this is how it sounds. So as you can see in these clips, when the enhanced speech is at 100%, it still sounds like an AI. But when we drop it down to 75%, let's see how that sounds. If you want to vlog and you're on a skateboard, and this is how it sounds. So it sounds a little bit less like a robot. Obviously, it's still taking your voice and making a new representation of it. But when you leave some of the background audio in there, it just makes it seem a little more natural and a little bit less forced. So yeah, not bad. All right, there's a generator right next to me. Let's see how it sounds. I'm talking, I'm saying things. <laughs> there's no way this works. Cool. There's a generator right next to me. Let's see how it sounds. I'm talking, I'm saying things. Well, wait, there's no way this works. Cool. So one key thing that I want to note here is the laugh. Well, wait. It's almost like the AI tries to make the laugh into words. And I've tried this on many other clips and it just does really seem to struggle with laughing, which brings me on to the next and the final example that I have for you, which is podcasting. Now I've worked on the post-production for a few podcasts myself, and I've had to deal with overlapping audio, laughing, which I just mentioned. And these are two big issues that you see when trying to use enhanced speech for a podcast. So first, let me just show you an example of using it on a regular podcast. In this first clip, there's a plane flying by. So let's listen to that. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, I, I remember those days. I mean, because I did extend through to middle school. I don't remember exactly the dollar store days. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, I, I remember those days. I mean, because I did extend through to middle school. I don't remember exactly the dollar store days. And in the second clip, there are a bunch of kids playing in the background. I don't hate kids, but kind of annoying to listen to so let's see how that sounds but really what are the tools that i can help equip you with but really what are the tools that i can help equip you with so it does a pretty good job if you turn it up to 100 then it gets rid of all of the kids playing in the background now the only thing that happens when you turn it up to 100 is it just sounds like a robot i've only had like a few where it doesn't sound completely like a robot and that's usually if i'm talking into a mic like this one right here but in that case your audio should probably already be good enough to where you can just fix it with other tools and don't really need to use enhanced speech granted it is nice that you can just click a clip come over to dialogue and then hit enhance and within seconds it makes your audio better but 
In my opinion, it's still not great and it has a little bit of a ways to go before I would be using it consistently. And I didn't show you it here, but the AI sort of struggles to pick up who's talking at which point. And so if someone's ending their speech, they might get cut off early and the AI will just start with this next speech or vice versa. And the person who's starting their first sentence just gets cut off at the beginning. So it sounds really weird. It really can't make out what's being said, which I don't expect it to. If it's on one track, like that's really tough to figure out, but that's besides the point. Hopefully this test and breakdown of the enhanced speech tool helped you out. And let me know if you've tried it down below in the comments, if you've had any better luck with it. Maybe I just haven't tested it out enough yet, but who knows. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.